Hey YouTube, hope you all have an amazing day. We are on our way right now to uh, Chim's house. So long story short, we went to Vegas and as we were coming back, we, what was it, Spirit Airlines or Frontier? I think it was Spirit Airlines. Spirit Airlines didn't put his bag on the plane. And so they said they were gonna ship it to Chicago where, where Chim's at, but they didn't and they somehow ended up to where Caleb lived. And so we're going down there right now, seven and a half hour drive, but tomorrow we're gonna hit, uh, I think he wants us to PR and deadlift. So I don't know about that, but we're gonna find out how that is. Anyways, we just I just got back from uh, Owensboro. I'm moving back next weekend. But anyways, I guess I'll talk to y'all when we get there. So, peace. No, no, no. Kind of that. We're not wearing the same look, thing. Look, you guys are wearing the same sweat, the same type of sweatshirt and the same type of sweatpants. Yeah. And but, you're both wearing Air Force. But you guys are they're all different. Ain't no, ain't no way I'm gonna. They're all different. Ain't no way I would put on one of those. Hey, you right? got blazers and you got yeah. champion. Yeah. You're not yeah, but matching. it's not. It's not. You're different. It's you're not. not it's not matching you two though. So no, whatever. Same. Made it last night at like what two? One thirty. Yeah. Like one thirty last night. It was a long drive. Me and Caleb split it up pretty fairly. Until he woke me up the last 30 minutes here, I was fast asleep. And he's like, dude, I'm about to doze off. And so I had to hop in the driver's seat. But uh, we're getting ready to go play basketball and then deadlift our hearts out. Hey, if I make this, y'all gotta like, subscribe, <laughs> share the video, hit the notification. Here, Kelly. Half court. All right, who Half makes court. it first? Hey, hey, whoever makes it first, the other person gotta whoop his ass. Fuck it! Oh! Fuck it! Oh. He's hey. like that, he's like that. Oh, you know, I'm gonna keep calm because I'm like that. I hit that every day. Oh! Hey, it's one for one. Let's go, let's go. Hey, keep different. going, keep going. Team hey. effort, team effort. Team effort. Y'all gotta like, subscribe now. That was literally first take, so. Like and subscribe. There yeah. we go. That's, that's, that's Caleb Chen's brother, can you tell? Bro, I was talking to Kyle. And he was telling me about specific things with bulking. And I'm trying to find a way where I don't gain a lot of fat, but I still gain muscle during my bulk. And he told me something about carbs. He said, he Bruh. said, we should only take a large amount of carbs within like an hour or two hour time frame before, after, and during your workouts. Because carbs for bodybuilders is even energy. That's why I see a lot of people do keto diets and diets without carbs, and they don't really lift or anything, and they still lose weight because the carbs is, is, isn't stored as fat. But if you use it as energy, it stores in your muscles. You already know. And burns fat. We stay strapped with the rice cakes. Which is why we're eating rice cakes right now. But anyways, I'm gonna change up my diet where he gets fatter in the morning, in the morning, I'm gonna be doing car uh, fasted cardio. It's only like 20 minutes of uh, walking or running. I'll mix it up, I'll do like jump ropes. I actually like doing jump rope in the morning and then before work. And then for lunch, I'm certainly gonna have straight up just protein. So like what I did the other day, I literally just grilled three hamburgers, put a little A1 sauce on top and ate that for my lunch. So just straight up no carbs. I'm gonna try to eat no carbs within two hours before my workout. So for lunch, I'm gonna try to eat just straight up protein. And then for dinner, I'll load up on carbs. And with my, uh, I started doing mass gainer. That stuff is terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. You can't even enjoy it. But it's good. You have to drink, you have to chug it basically in order to get it over with. And so I'm gonna take that after I work out. And then for dinner, depending on the time frame, I might throw in a little more carbs but I'm gonna try to like intake my carbs during and before and after my workout within the two hour window. But anyways, we're in a deadlift and we're playing we're blasting music. So you yes. probably won't be able to hear us. It's all good because we'll be cussing anyways. Are we going hood? Yeah. 
But you know, this reminds me of uh, back at college. <laughs> Alright guys, we already knocked out two PRs, 365, and then what's the other one? 385. And 385. We're about to pull 405. 405. Last week, we only did what? 335 for two. 335. Yeah. We only did 335 for two. We're pulling mad weight today. We're pulling crazy weight today. For no reason. We just like that. We just like that, I guess. Go! Get out! Dude, uh, hey, we got what? Two PRs? Three. Three. Four oh five. Hey, I haven't deadlifted though. I haven't deadlifted four or five since since uh, January. So January. I was not deadlifted four or five. Twenty five since college. Yeah. College. That's the most. That's the most weight I ever fucking threw. That's insane. How you feeling after that PR? After we all PR. I don't know, I, my back kind of feels like not bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, the I know. Last one, though. The last one was it heavy was fine. on my mental. Uh, it was heavy on my brain. My dome, bro. My, my, dome, <laughs> my, my dome. dome hurt, bro. <laughs> no, yes. I feel like I used so many brain cells and they just died when I was trying to lift yeah. that last one. Hi, right, guys. We were in Nashville, finally. We decided to take another rest day because we drove seven hours. So we deserve another rest day, especially after yesterday. Seven we PR'd. Hours. A lot, a lot, and I'm exhausted. And we got work tomorrow. And we have some guests coming over tonight. This guest. Some guests this coming guest. over tonight. But we're gonna do a little photo shoot because my Instagram's is full of fitness stuff. And I'm trying to do lifestyle stuff. So I gotta add some good fits in it. Ooh. All right guys, that is it for this vlog. We're gonna do the outro. Like, subscribe, hope you all enjoyed this vlog of us going to see Chim and his family, work out with them, PR deadlift and all that good stuff. But we are out. I think the next time I'll pick up the camera, we're gonna be headed to Redcon and work out Redcon. with the ass and do a training session with them. So hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.
you know. I don't see Kelly's little bitch. All right, this is the better gym, the one that actually has hooping skills. <laughs> he whooped on Caleb's ass. I Caleb, Caleb actually skills. carried. Normally, I, normally I whoop him, but today, today was not. Today he carried you. No, but you beat him. You smoked him. I was impressed. Not gonna lie. He has real skills too. Real skills? Oh yeah, he's pimping too. Hey. Something Chim doesn't have. He's actually <laughs> pimping. He's pulling girls, but Caleb's not. Caleb, YG. Caleb's yeah, alone. YG, the best one the <laughs> Caleb's alone. Someone slide up on. Hey, Top G's gone though. <laughs> Top G's never gone. Who's gonna replace him? He doesn't need to be replaced. Because we all are top G's when it comes down to it. But you know, hey, women, women out there, if you're watching the stream, I don't support Andrew Tate. But boys, go watch some Andrew Tate. One meal at two. How do you eat that? talk all the time, bro. <laughs> That's the, I, I figured out the secret to PRing in deadlift, going commando. <laughs> I, I, more tests. More tests. Like I was helping that boy too. Really. 